So I have a friend who works in the gaming industry. He had seen the last Science of Healing show that uh, showed our work about 3D printing. And uh, he suggested to me, uh, why don't I use virtual reality or augmented reality to help physicians and patients uh, with the same thing that I do with 3D printing. And uh, I went back and thought about that and it seemed like a good idea. This project got started when Dr. Nadine Parker reached out to David Hawkinson, our CIO and Chief Innovation Officer. We've been showing off a lot of uh, 3D and virtual reality tools to the campus, looking for ideas that, that might uh, have potential impact to healthcare, and this sounded like a great fit for us. We thought that we would be able to help the physicians look at uh, organs that in three dimensions rather than just two dimensions. We as radiologists are very used to seeing things in two dimensions and we construct a report uh, for the physicians who then have to re reconstruct that report into a three-dimensional picture in their head. So we got together and we studied a lot about what was done in virtual reality and augmented reality. We spent a couple of months uh, studying about the different ways in which we could do things and the different modalities that were available for us to convert CT and the MR images. Our next step was to look and see if anybody was doing this already so we could leverage an existing technology. We weren't able to find any companies that were doing this sort of thing in the medical space, so we uh, started researching potential partners to help us design a new application. It was difficult at that time for me to determine whether I would get there or not because uh, I didn't have enough knowledge uh, about how virtual reality would work with uh, medical imaging and healthcare. Uh, but as I got to know more and more, it seemed that it was possible that we could do this. It's, uh, it's always great to be the first, but it's also really great to have the opportunity to impact patient care in a positive way. So the technology works by taking CT scans, which are normally um, multi-layers of two-dimensional scans, and it uh, imports the scan into a volume viewer, so it basically takes all of the 2D images and renders a 3D image. We started taking uh, the CT scans and MRIs that we did for our referring physicians, where you could see it in different planes, uh, you could insert yourself within the environment and look at different structures. When you put on the virtual reality glasses, you can see the, the imaging data, but it's displayed in a, in a manner that looks more like real life, hence, you know, virtual reality. And, and so you can look at uh, a liver or a human brain, and it looks much more like um, what, what the actual organ would look like in real life, rather than just looking at flat two-dimensional images. We then share this with the physicians who use these scans in three-dimensional format to uh, operate on these patients.